So Real Life for Life is the largest fundraiser in the world. You know, and there's no other event that reaches across so many countries, uh, that raises so much funds and, and more importantly raises the awareness of the issue so much. Okay, so my position is the Community Programs and Events Coordinator. And to break that right down, the Community Programs relates to the, the, myself giving proactive uh, preventative cancer messages out in the community. What we're asking people to do is to be proactive with their bodies. Of course, when the event starts, we bring everyone together, particularly the survivors. And we have a survivors and carers lab. And that's where all survivors and carers come together. And we give them the opportunity to have that first lap. They get to cut the ribbon and they get to have that lap by themselves. So Relay for Life is all about preparation. The committee is the heartbeat of Relay. If you do not have a driven committee, if you do not have an empowered committee, you go nowhere. The, the entertainment coordinator, of course, has gone from one spectrum to the other. Fundraising is just one aspect of Relay for Life. Um, Maitland on Saturday, we've got Relay Steady Cook. It's not Ready Steady Cook, but it's Relay Steady Cook. And we've got two of the top chefs coming along to have a relay cook-off. And they're going to cook up a healthy meal. They're going to have some surprise ingredients handed by the participants to the chefs. At the end of it, the menu cards will be available for people to go home and cook those, uh, cook those things. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity for uh, family and friends to come together. on behalf of cancer sufferers, cancer survivors and their families. It's been fun, it's a good cause, beneficial for the community. But it's great spirit, it's just an awesome day. Oh, this is the first year I've done it. Oh, it's been great so far. Zumba is always a hit. Zumba is the, the new aerobic of 2011. So we can't wait for everyone to be involved in Zumba. And of course we've got then other bands. They get their opportunity in front of maybe 1,200, 1,500 people. This is one way that we can come out without grieving, but showing our support for these families, for the, the members of our community that have gone, passed on. This is our opportunity to say, here's to the memories. That's what we encourage. We encourage that Relay for Life is a fun event. It's not hard work, it's a fun event. We have to get over the aspect that Relay is not about running for the whole time. Relay is about coming along and using your team to complete that relay. And that's what's really important part. Yes, we do have participants coming along. We've got a fellow coming along to run 100 kilometres at Relay on Saturday. I wish him all the best. I think it's a fantastic thing. The hard work that uh, they're putting in for raising all this money, we need to be able to put that money back into the community. And in fact, the Cancer Council can show for every dollar that's raised, a dollar twenty-seven goes back into that local community. So the Hope Ceremony gives the people the opportunity to put the candle bags out with their messages. Um, it also gives them a chance to look up on the hill where we've, where we've put the Hope sign. Uh, and lets them, gives them a chance to just in a sombre way remember those people that they've lost. And of course the Hope Ceremony goes a step further. It gives us also a chance to give people in the community hope that one day we may defeat cancer. That's what we're all striving to do. It won't happen overnight, but we hope it will happen in the future. And as a community, we can defeat cancer.